up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo the Belgian World Championship for Bruce Lee and Hamza Chimaya. I hope you guys will like it. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Introducing the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hamzat. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key match. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg, he decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Just missing on the high kick there. Focus, focus. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Liver kick. Lee's circling to his right now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice defense there. Huge block. Landed that left hook. Whip his hip into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice strike. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. All right, single collar tie now. Just misses there with the left. They continue to exchange. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand upstairs. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big kick land. Trying to get the knees going. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, big shot lands. Slips. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing. Oh, what a power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Double leg shot. Oh, ow. Slams him to the canvas with authority. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Come on. 20 seconds to go. And he landed the right hand there. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Wait. Five minutes in the books. from that last round, DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two.
flips the punch nicely there. Just misses with the straight right. Collar tie there. Right hook to the hand drop. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, straight right. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Ooh, big shot to the body. Try to establish that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Blocks that kick to the body. Straight right hand now just misses. Right hand punch to the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Look at the turnover in that kick. My goodness! Three minutes remain in the round. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, nice. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Single collar tie now. That was a cutting leg kick. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Connects now with the one-two. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Nice punch here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Throws every part of himself into a big leg kick. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Big knee to the body. Campbell inches right. Great timing on that beautiful. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love when grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Still nice fight. Round three coming up next.
All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a pension for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, collar tie. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big body kick land. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, a huge block there. Kick land, he's hurt. Right hand upstairs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big punch land. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, nice elbow. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, he engages in a single collar. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. Got his switch the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Pretty good right hand. Misses with that punch. Just misses with the jab there. And they separate. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, big punch land. Slips that left hand. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Throwing that jab, no good. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That's a big strike right there. Right hand, John. Back and throw! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 
Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, three on, rounds on. down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to go. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of fights. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Visibly limping here. It's such a fast leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses with the jab. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And now he's got the tie clinch. That knee might have landed there. Huge block there. That one appeared to start him. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Collar tie here. So he lands a combination of knees in the clinch. A lot of these going right to the head. We'll see if he can close the show from here. And he's throwing everyone with the idea to finish the fight. It's a great punch landing with so much power. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Swollen now, time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Under two minutes now to go. Just out of range with that right hook. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at the angle of that, that nice body, nice body, nice body. That punch no good. Oh, 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 put it to sleep. Work 
working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got it back! All right, side control now. Final minute. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Here we go, fifth and final round. Ooh, what a punch. Leg kick. Well, looks as though his leg here, you can even see him limping a little bit. What a body kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Nice body in front of the open. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful leg kick throw. Again going back to the jab just out of range. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, he's open. He's on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Nice looping punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice leg kick land. Back to the jab now, no good. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Big kick. He blocks the... Oh, back of the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Change oh, he scene. went single, rotated head outside, this dude's going for a ride. Oh. He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Perfect placement, perfect position. What 
a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Body there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt. Oh, he's got a good too. Well, this one is coming down to the wire. This has been so action packed. I'm going to stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've still been sitting the whole time. Multiple times, you want to jump out of your seat because these guys are putting on such a fantastic fight. She didn't like that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Whoa! All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big left hook there. All right, well, as expected, nothing easy about it. The fight goes the full 25-minute distance. Could be looking at a split decision here, Daniel. A very close fight. I mean, this is uncomfortable. I've sat there before, walking yeah. to the middle of the octagon in a title fight as the champion, not knowing if I had done enough to win. This is a nervous feeling, but I believe the champ did just enough to keep the belt. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC Walter Wade champion of the world, Hobbs and Boris Kibaya. All right, so he needed the full 25 minutes to get the job done here tonight, but he does exit the way he entered as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. This was a title fight that really had it all. And again, we've said it before, we will say it again. It is gonna take a Herculean effort